Hello everyone, my name is Paisal Nadeem and welcome to our another video on job interview training course. In this video, I will teach you how to prepare for a forklift operator job interview. If you are applying for a forklift operator role in any organization, make sure to stay tuned to this video because I promise to help you pass your interview at the first attempt. And to achieve this objective, I am sharing with you the top 7 most important commonly asked forklift operator job interview questions along with their sample answers. I will also let you know the purpose of asking each question from the hiring manager so you can create your answer by including all those important things that I will teach you in this video. I have already uploaded a video on forklift operator job description that can also help you a lot in your interview preparation. The link is in the description of this video. Very quickly before we get started, if you are watching my video for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming career focus content. Alright, let's jump in. So the first important question that you should need to prepare for is, can you discuss a challenging situation you encountered while operating a forklift and how you resolved it? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to evaluate your problem solving skills and more importantly, your ability to handle unexpected challenges or obstacles while operating a forklift. So how you can answer to this particular question is that, well, in a previous role, I encountered a situation where a pallet of materials was blocking access to a storage rack, preventing me from completing a delivery on time. Instead of attempting to force my way through, I assessed the situation calmly and decided to seek assistance from a colleague to remove the obstacle safely. Together, we carefully relocated the pallet to a designated storage area, allowing me to proceed with the delivery without risking damage to the materials or equipment. By prioritizing safety and collaboration, we were able to resolve the issue efficiently. Question number 2 how do you maintain forklift equipment and perform routine maintenance tasks to ensure optimal performance? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to assess your knowledge of forklift maintenance practices and more importantly, your ability to perform basic troubleshooting and repairs. So how you can answer to this particular question is that Well, I adhere to a regular maintenance schedule to keep forklift equipment in peak condition. This includes checking fluid levels, inspecting tires and brakes, and lubricating moving parts as needed. I also conduct visual inspections before each shift to identify any signs of wear or damage and report any issues to maintenance personnel for timely repairs. By staying proactive and addressing maintenance issues promptly, I ensure that forklift operates safely and efficiently. Question number 3. How do you ensure safety while operating a forklift? And what steps do you take to prevent accidents or injuries? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to assess your knowledge of forklift safety procedures and more importantly, your commitment to maintaining a safe work environment. So how you can answer to this particular question is that Well, safety is my top priority when operating a forklift. Before starting each shift, I conduct a pre-operational inspection of the forklift to ensure it is in proper working condition. I wear all required personal protective equipment such as a safety helmet and high visibility vest and follow established safety protocols, including observing speed limits, maintaining clear lines of sight and keeping a safe distance from pedestrians and other equipment. Additionally, I communicate effectively with colleagues and signal my intentions to prevent accidents or collisions. Question number 4. How do you prioritize tasks and manage time effectively when operating a forklift in a busy warehouse? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to evaluate your ability to prioritize tasks and manage workflow efficiently while operating a forklift in a dynamic environment. So how you can answer to this particular question is that well, I prioritize tasks based on urgency and importance, focusing on high priority activities such as loading and unloading shipments, replenishing inventory and fulfilling orders. I plan my route carefully to minimize travel time and optimize efficiency while also remaining flexible to accommodate changes in priorities or unexpected tasks that may arise. By staying organized and proactive, 
I ensure that operations run smoothly and productivity targets are met. Question number 5. Can you describe your experience operating forklifts and handling materials in a warehouse or industrial setting? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to assess your level of experience and more importantly, your familiarity with forklift operations in a professional environment. So how you can answer to this particular question is that well, I have 5 years of experience operating forklifts in various warehouse and manufacturing setting. During this time, I have safely and efficiently handled a wide range of materials including pallets, crates and raw materials using different types of forklifts such as counterbalance and reach trucks. I am well versed in forklift safety protocols and have a proven track record of meeting productivity targets while maintaining a focus on safety. Question number 6. What would you do if you encountered an obstacle or hazardous condition while operating a forklift? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to evaluate your problem-solving skills and more importantly, your ability to respond effectively to unexpected situations while operating a forklift. So how you can answer to this particular question is that Well, if I encountered an obstacle or hazardous condition, I would stop the forklift immediately, assess the situation and determine the best course of action. This might involve seeking assistance from a supervisor, navigating around the obstacle if possible, or following established procedures for addressing the hazard. Question number 7. How do you handle emergency situations or respond to alarms while operating a forklift? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to assess your preparedness and response to emergency scenarios such as in situations of an equipment malfunction or fire alarms while operating a forklift. So how you can answer to this particular question is that Well, in the event of an emergency, my first priority is to ensure the safety of myself and others in the vicinity. If I hear an alarm or encounter a hazardous situation, I immediately stop the forklift, safely park it in a designated area and follow established evacuation procedures. I communicate the situation to colleagues and supervisors using two-way radios or emergency notification systems and assist with evacuation efforts as needed. Once the situation is resolved, I follow up with appropriate personnel to address any equipment issues or safety concerns. So there you have it, 7 most important commonly asked forklift operator interview questions along with their sample answers. I have already uploaded a video on forklift operator job description that can also help you a lot in your interview preparation. The link is in the description of this video. Always remember that practice makes perfect, so take these answers as a starting point and tailor them to your own experiences and skills. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe our channel Knowledge Topper and also give a thumbs up as well. You can also share it with anyone you think would benefit from it and don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future video topics. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next video on Knowledge Topper. Until then, keep striving for professional success. Have a good day.